Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Volcker Report. Jumping right into things here, we're looking at a chart here of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, ticker symbol DIA, better known as the Diamonds. For the most part, there's absolutely nothing here to see, folks. Uh, so pretty much if you're trading the Dow and you're looking for a trade in the Dow, you don't have one today. So you might as well go and uh, have an early start to the weekend. Uh, let's jump into the technicals, though. Uh, Thursday's uh, price action, we closed up $2.02 or up 2%. With strong bids going into the close. As for market sentiment, we have a pulse scan reading of 21.39. The market pulse is positive since it's trading above a zero signal line. And the pulse scan crossed below the swing VIX, creating a downtrend channel as of two periods ago. The last signal was an oversold buy 11 periods ago. Since the last swing VIX signal, the Dow Jones ETF's price has increased 0.90% and has ranged from a high of $103.71 to a low of $100.04. Looking at momentum, this is the most important aspect of this report for this particular stock. We are in a neutral stance within a bearish Kumo consolidation cloud. That's this red cloud here, okay? Prices are remaining within that cloud, all right? That means we have a possible trend reversal with upside bullish breakout risk. A close below $102.33 a share today is needed to reestablish the downward trend. However, a close above $105.13 today will establish a new upward trend. As for trend strength, we have none because we're not trending. As for uh, retracements, we're currently not doing any retracements, actually. Uh, we're still trading above our long-term trend line retracement of $96.76. So as long as we stay above $96.76, we're still bullish, uh, you know, with bullish tendencies, I should say. All right, intraday price projections for Friday. Resistance, $103.37 a share. Support, around $102.00. And 55 cents per share. Our weekly price projection, uh, we do not see this uh, stock getting above $104.18 today, and we don't see it getting below $100.04 if, if there were to be some type of a sell off. Uh, looking forward to uh, our monthly price projections, if a bull market re resumes here. Uh, we have a uptrend 12 to 18 month price target of $144.18 a share for this stock. The long term trend line resistance is currently at $112.57 and our long term trend line support is currently at $96.76. As for market volatility, we close below the upper volatility band by 23.7%. And as I indicated earlier, there are no buy or sell signals for Friday. Okay, now switching our focus to the NASDAQ 100 ETF ticker symbol QQQQ. Uh, Thursday's price action, we changed up $1.13 on the close, up 2.53% with strong bids into the close. As for market sentiment, we have a pulse scan reading of positive 27.61. The market pulse is positive since it's trading above a zero signal line. The pulse scan crossed below the swing VIX, creating a downtrend channel as of one period ago. The swing VIX is not currently in a topping or bottoming range. The last signal was an oversold by 11 periods ago. Now, the swing VIX does not currently show any various swings, but the securities price has set a new 14 period high while the swing VIX has not. This is a bearish divergence. Since the pulse scan leads the market three to five days out, we will wait to see if downside pressure develops. Since the last swing VIX signal, the NASDAQ 100 ETF's price has increased 2.53% and has ranged from a high of $45.98 to a low of $44.56. Taking a look now at momentum readings. Currently the trend is neutral. Trend strength is also neutral. 
We're not experiencing any trend line retracements at this point. The close is still currently above its long-term trend line retracement of $42.47 per share. As for Friday's price projections, we have resistance at $45.81 and support at $45.40. Our weekly price projection targets for uh, this stock was at $45.76 for resistance and support at $43.86. So regardless of what happens today, we don't really see uh, the prices breaking up above or below those, uh, those points. If a bull market develops in this stock, our 12 to 18 month price target is $67 per share. Our long-term trend line resistance is currently at $50.65. And our long-term trend line support is currently at $42.47. As for volatility, we close below the upper volatility band by 18.4%. Uh, this security is in play for Friday, but taking a look at the uh, bear market uh, long and short signals. We have a possible first pulse wave consolidation breakdown short entry selling short at $44.43 per share. The initial intraday profit target is for $43.44 with a stop loss at $46.01. However, we also have a rally alert. The rally alert shows that our price action money flow indicators are pointing up, saying that a possible rally beyond intraday resistance is possible. Therefore, we could have a trend reversal, so we will look to buy in to any uh, bullish strength at $46.01. And our initial profit target, we will let ride and hold this one over the weekend. If filled, our initial profit target is $67 even with a stop loss of $45.20. Now, one note on this one is that if you, depending on if this uh, long entry is filled and how quickly, fast, and furious the market moves up, you may want to just consider taking profit and getting out on the close. Only because we live in very uncertain times and all types of news and stuff tends to like to come out over the weekend. So that's just FYI. That's all we have for this uh, Vulcan report. Uh, be encouraged and enjoy your weekend. And remember, take what you can, give nothing back.